Hey, I'm Cal. And I'm Kai. And welcome to our YouTube channel. Um, we're also going to be posting this on TikTok as well. This is a PSA video for everybody out there. Kyle, tell your side of the story. So, uh, back about a few months ago, our car... This happened... Let me stop you right there for one second. This, we're not going to talk about the car, because they know about the car. Um, but what we're going to talk about is this happened... When did it happen? The beginning of December? Yes. Yeah. The beginning of December leading when this happened. Because of the car, but also because we had no jobs at this point. So, I found... Why she's looking for that... Uh, yeah. we, we started, um, I was commenting on a um, TikTok post about a girl who said her deputy chief brother or somebody, a family member, had abused somebody and went to jail for it and is now still the deputy chief of one of the uh, fire companies, uh, EMS. So I messaged her, or, I, or before I messaged her, or she messaged me rather, I uh, posted a sad emoji because anybody that knows a firefighter, I'm a firefighter um, for about 13 years for a PA. Um, they, it's not likely for a first responder or police officer to get arrested. So therefore, it's it's very sad when when one of our um, you know family members per se uh, get arrested and is all over the local news. So she messaged me, Olivia Peterson, and said, hey, you want a job? We're looking, uh, me and my wife here, we're both security guards for a school district, um, as well as a volunteer firefighter for me. Uh, I just pulled up the pictures and um, so, that I can show you guys of said person. And this, so, that's Olivia. Is said person, y'all. This is said person with Dustin Lynch, and we'll get to that in a minute. Go ahead, Kyle. So she messaged me and said, hey, we're looking for uh, an EMS, and my wife here is going through EMT school. Um, me. And I'm a first responder, so I have, uh, we both have our CPR and first aid certification. It's a requirement for the school districts. So, uh, we just, as you all know, we moved down here uh, to Tennessee. We like it. Um, but yeah, this girl messaged me and asked if we could be either an EMT um, with, along with my fire training um, and also uh, looking for a security guard for the, for the tour bus for Dustin Lynch. So we turned out, uh, I said, yeah, we're interested. Let me and my wife think about it. Um, and so we thought it over and we thought it was legit. And um, yeah, I said, yeah, that's fine. What do you need as far as certification? So um, she said, well, you need a valid CPR. Well, mine expired. I was gonna go get mine uh, renewed. So uh, long story short, she uh, lied about that she was related to Dustin Lynch, which I still don't believe is true. She ran a background on me and my wife, which is illegal to do in the state of Pennsylvania without consent. All right, let me share what I found. So she was messaging someone else off of TikTok. And this is what she said to this said person, not gonna mention a name, about Kyle mm -hmm. to her. So she's talking about me. She said, she's faking a smile. I actually know everything. Her husband is a psychopath. He blew up their car and they have no food in the house and she is starving and they have no money. Her husband is controlling her and keeping her from eating or anything. He also has short term memory loss and has a firearm. She is extremely depressed and upset. She wants out of the house or the situation. He is very abusive and manipulative and controlling. They met through TikTok. Me and Kyle, if you watch our YouTube and you watch our TikToks, we did not meet through TikTok. Number we did one. Not. Number two, she's saying that I am unhappy because of. Which picture? I think it's this picture. She says in this picture, I'm faking a smile and I look unhappy. These are all of our wedding photos. And as you can tell. Look at that one. Um, my favorite is this one just because it's, it's a thing of me, to be honest. Um, 
which our lovely photographer Amanda did them. Like, look at this one. That's a good one. Um, my favorite of the two of us is probably, I love this one. And these ones are really good. And we got, like, like they're all really good photos that I personally love. And our photographer took them. And so she went around saying all of that stuff, not only to to this said person, but to other people. She was messaging some guy named Anthony. I don't know who he is, but she was messaging him and she told him everything. And apparently he is her uncle. Mm -hmm. She also has two uncles, or she has three uncles. Apparently she has three uncles right now that we know of. Um, let me see if I can find that on messenger here so Kel, what's your side of the story on things uh, you believe it's not true um and that uh, yeah because this is her account you want to make sure you see this account on uh tiktok do not follow it don't go live with it don't look at any of its message nothing this account this is her account mm -hmm. and she will use it and message you and tell you that she's related to dustin lynch and all of the pictures and videos that she shows and that she shares, none of them are real. There's another photo. She's Every photo that she sent us of her being related to Dustin Lynch, they're all Google photos or stock photos or Facebook photos. None of them are actual pictures that include her and Dustin Lynch. There's one. And I'm pretty sure that it's not even her or it's Photoshop because it definitely doesn't look like her. She also told um, me and Kelly that her house... Her family's in the in the uh, reserves, which is fine. Uh, I'm all for Marines. I'm all for our, um, Army, Army Marines, uh, Navy. I have it all in my family. Uh, family in Virginia, um, and they're all military. That's where my family was founded in Virginia and moved up through the states in, in uh, PA. So therefore, I'm not against military, as you can tell, I'm all for the flag and, you know, our country. And so for her to sit there and, and say... Her whole family is supposedly military. You know, that we're in big trouble, me and my wife, and um, for her to run a background check and for her to say and sit here and lie to us, it's, it's ridiculous. So I told Kel here that um, if she don't stop... And something needs to be done falsifying about it. Uh, reports and everything. I'm going to be contacting my lawyer. And people told us, said person told us we should go live about this, but I figured a video would be much better because then it can just show y'all what's been going on. So this is her and Dustin Lynch. Apparently. Um, it's home live stream. Um, that doesn't even look like her. Oh, and, so back well, with on. the story. I'm still talking. I know. Wait a second. Sorry. So, this is supposedly her. It doesn't look like her. Said person messaged me personally. I'm not going to name her name um, for the sake of this video. But um, she showed this to me. This girl right here, she's like seven or eight maybe. She is Dustin Lynch's niece. She's like seven or eight years old. This photo was posted. Dustin Lynch with his father and his niece. Right. That's his niece. Meanwhile, this is the girl claiming to be his niece and pretending to be his niece, which is Army Sisters, Dustin Lynch's niece, when she's not. And so all of the things that she's shown us to prove that she's his niece, none of it has found it to be true at all. None of it. Not at all. Like with this picture that's not right and then this picture that's found on Google that is real and legit. And this is Anthony. This is the guy that she is saying that is, is her uncle. Her uncle. Mm -hmm. She also told us and posted on TikTok that she has another famous uncle who's a country singer as well. So she has two famous uncles that are country singers. And, and number one, my side of the story also is those, those pictures that we asked to see of Olivia. That's him. These are only half of them that we're finding on social media. But half of the pictures that we asked to see with Dustin Lynch, 
She says that her mom passed away, was a medic in the army, yeah. passed away on a on, um, whatever, the helicopter, whatever, uh, died, and apparently from what she told us. And the, those pictures that she can't access, so she was actually related to Dustin Lynch. She'd be able to access the pictures. She'd show proof. She'd have family pictures, not to mention the fact that she said she met Dustin Lynch when she was 14. Now, this guy here is un her uncle. He's His name is Taylor J. Green. I use Spotify. I looked him up on Spotify, and his name did not come up. Mm -hmm. And I cannot find this guy at all. But she says that he's a country singer, and he's her uncle. Another person she's saying is her country singer, who's an uncle, who's her uncle. And then I've got so many screenshots and messages. She's fake smiling. He took her away from Virginia and Jersey. I was never from Virginia or Jersey. And um, apparently I'm hiding it. She won't leave. She's trapped. She's living in a cabin like in a, sh she's living in a cabin like shed in the woods of Chattanooga, Tennessee. Like she's legit. She says she's 28. She looks way younger than 28. She's crazy. She's psycho. Just, if you see this count, ignore it. Don't believe anything. She says none of it's real. She was crying on Snap last week. This is the truth. I won't sugarcoat anything. Blah, blah, blah. Yep. Olivia and Anthony. Anthony is the guy that she says is her cousin. Or her, not her cousin, but her uncle. Mm -hmm. um, and just, like, all of this stuff. None of it's true. Like, I don't believe that any of it's true. Like, watch this video. I just read what he, uh, he was saying at how he backs the first first responder. I was like, yes, yeah. he does. He, I can tell you, he backs our, our first responders. He backs our troops. That um, picture? He backs every. He backs. A She's on live. That picture is a picture from Google. That's not a picture she has in her phone of him, or like she has no proof of anything, and she spreads these lies on live to people all the time and all of that stuff that she texted this said person all of this stuff she went on live and exposed it to everybody and told everybody that this is our relationship and that we hate each other and that he's an abusive pos it's pretty much what she told everybody on live now you know if she was dustin lynch's niece she'd be famous on tiktok she would have a blue check mark and she would have thousands of followers. That's she correct. doesn't. And that live had like 12 people that watched the entire time. So, I mean, I don't care, you know, because nobody watched it really anyway. But to sit there and spread lies and say things that aren't true. That's not right. And what'd she tell Kyle? Tell her what she told you about the people at her house. Oh, um, so one night we were talking, uh, getting ready to go on tour with said Olivia. Um... And which was not true. She blatantly lied to us about getting 25k a week and yada yada yada. Tour is supposed to start January 17th. The tour that is with Dustin Lynch and Blake Shelton. And she doesn't even go on tour. She goes, but she doesn't watch the tour. She doesn't see any of the, nothing. She just does whatever she wants to do while she's on said tour. So anyway... She Sweating. she was on live and she was saying uh, about her aunt, um, how she is really upset with her aunt. She was going to go sleep on the tour bus, but the tour bus was parked. Dustin's tour bus was parked down the street down at the church. So uh, about 10 minutes later, we're sitting there on the call. And uh, as you know, all these people start showing up at her house. So fans. She, she fans of Dustin Lynch's, which I don't believe is true at all. If there was fans, she would be able to contact the police. But and that's what I told she her. Can't. She can't because the police won't do anything because the cops been there too many times at her house. So therefore, um, yeah, that option's out the window. And um, so when she faced her camera around on her phone, um, she... Um, show me the windows and Kelly can vouch for me. Kel, sorry. Um, Kel, Kelly, I don't care. And so, call me. Um, yeah, there was nobody out there, maybe except for one car. And uh, granted, at this time, there was, you know, Christmas lights out. It was the middle of December. People are probably driving around their cul de sac looking at the Christmas lights. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. 
but she said that all she said there were 10 cars parked there fans that were stalking her and she couldn't call the cops because they don't do anything and this that the other and it's just yeah it's just ridiculous it's out of hand i'm so over it i blocked her on everything mm -hmm. so did i so if you see her on facebook on social media anything just just don't believe anything she says because none of it's true nope and as far as the, what i was going to say about the military i'm all for my flag and and my country and everything i was born and raised in pennsylvania we're currently down here in tennessee so we love traveling and um we, we're we're great for each other and um so about those pictures that we asked about her to get or to show us of dustin lynch and her together they said that the house went in foreclosed situation and and she couldn't access those photos because they were on the army base it could be true but if she was really related to somebody she should have proof or something to back it up especially if she tells everybody on all of her social medias and stuff that she's related to Dustin Lynch. And that said person I talked about earlier, she, Olivia, blocked that said person because that said person called her out on everything and called her out on all her lies. And she didn't know what to do or say, so she just blocked her and then told me that they're not speaking because something happened. So this needs to stop here. And so we would appreciate if, uh, you would like and comment on our page and follow our account. We're, de um, we're definitely eating and we're, oh, yeah. we're definitely happy Let me just... um, here in Tennessee. And I'm going to show you some pictures. I got this at Christmas tree farm. Um, I was so sad. They closed, they closed a bunch of locations back when we were in PA, they closed a bunch. Um, and so I got this for 50 to 75% off. And these are all our pictures. Do you think okay. and that's a picture of when we first met? Look how different we look. This is when we got engaged, and this is a wedding picture. Does any of this look like we're unhappy at all? Just curious. Put it in the comments. Just curious. And so, yeah, we would like to, you know, have any comments or concerns or yeah just put and, it in the you comments know, below if you've ever run into her before if you've ever heard her sad crazy sob story text us tell us we'd love to hear about it because the more like you know when we were talking to her and messaging her and talking about this that's how we found other said person mm -hmm. who told us that she was saying the same stuff so everything that she was telling us she was telling this other person and spreading lies about us and she I talked to her last night, and she's like, hey, Kelly, I love you. I miss you. We're family. Like, no, we're not. We're not family. I don't know you. And the fact that you're sitting here and spreading lies about me, and this, that, the other, but then you want to sit there and say, oh, well, we're family. Yeah, no. Uh-uh. Um, I said that down right away. And she's like, she straight up asked me, oh, is your husband special needs? She want to know, is he special needs? She asked. I'm um, not. I got an arm injury, but that's from birth. How is that any of your business? Seriously. That's like, that's none of your business. And she sat there and got mad at Kyle because Kyle was asking personal questions about Dustin Lynch. To and see Kyle if was asking. Was adding up. Yeah, Kyle was asking personal questions because he wanted to know if what she was saying was true. Because she said that Dustin Lynch was in the hospital because he had COVID while he's posting pictures on Facebook of him at a ski resort. Out, not sick, having fun. And we called her out on that, just like the other said person was calling her out on the things that she saw that weren't true. And if I want to, Kelly brought up uh, earlier that about the firearm situation, that's my Second Amendment right. Just like if Kelly wanted to go and own a firearm, that's, that's like we're allowed constitutional. To. And I, the only reason why, I love shooting guns, but I also like, uh, you know, having protection. Uh, just for this type of reason uh, in case anybody just shows up to our house but also I'm really close with the law enforcement and the officials around here and she texted she texted me and said you know Kyle Kelly's got a gun and we need to get Kelly out right now Kyle's armed and dangerous and then she deleted it and when I asked her about it she's like I meant to send that to my aunt and sending it to her aunt, she was probably sending it to someone who wasn't her real aunt, who's not even related to her, that she just thinks of her aunt as. Because she told everyone that we're cousins. 
And Anthony, that guy who verified with us and other people that he's not related to her, she goes and says that he's her uncle. So she's like, oh, sorry, I meant to send that to my aunt and send me your address. I'm having someone come out to get you right now because I'm so worried about you and this is so unsafe. One of her family members. Let me know. tell you, does this, does this environment, does it at all look to you unsafe? Seriously. Like, that's a picture frame my mom got us for Christmas two years ago. This says eat, drink, and be married. More pictures on this wall and of us. And as you can see, she has no bumps, bruises, anything. I don't have any bumps or bruises, you know. And so if we were really unhappy, Kelly knows where the front door is. I hate to be that blunt, but, okay. you know, if she if she's really, you know, unhappy, she has the right to come and go as she pleases as well as I do. So it's not like I'm sitting here and holding her but uh, that's what she said. She said, captive. She said, quote unquote, Kyle's holding Kelly captive. Captive. She can't get out. She can't leave. I physically cannot leave. All right, here, let me just see if I can stick that there. You ready, guys? Kyle's holding me so captive. And look, look, this house, it's unsafe. I mean, it's kind of messy right now and it needs clean, but it's unsafe, y'all. And I can't just unlock the door. Oh, I locked it. I can't unlock the door and walk outside. He won't let me. He won't let me. Those are the things she's telling people. The things that are not. Sorry, the rug was stuck. And I'm, but not true. I'm right over here. He's she right can there. come and go as, as uh, she pleases. Seriously, this is just. Ridiculous. Yeah. And so, yeah, we would like to hear your comments and your it's concerns. Just, and just time our story's told. If you uh, can, if she does perhaps follow you guys, uh, we would like if you can report her account. Or yeah, send just it report to her, it. Just or, tell us. Just let us know. But drop, drop your comments and your concerns in, in the comments below. All right. Thank you guys for watching our video. And we'll see you on the next one.